On this day, February 1, 1929, Vicente Mejia Colindres takes the presidency. He was a figure of the Liberal Party. He governed the country from February 1, 1929 to January 31, 1933. He was accompanied in the vice presidency by engineer Rafael Diaz Chavez. At the beginning of his administration, there was public tranquility and an attempt at economic recovery. But then the consequences of the global economic depression and the specter of social unrest and civil war resumed. Dr. Vicente Mejia Colindres made every effort to cement peace and achieve prosperity for the Republic, but he found strong and tenacious contrariness in the legislative and judicial branches in the hand of the opposition that systematically opposed his administration plans. He was a weak man, but of an accrystallated honesty. During his presidency, there was broad and unrestricted freedom and guarantees. After his period, he lived many years in exile in San Jose de Costa Rica. He died on August 24, 1966. His remains are in Tegucigalpa, surrounded by the consideration, respect, and appreciation of Honduras in general. This was a day in the history of Honduras.